The ocean rises, streets submerge, neighborhoods flood. There is no storm, there is no wind, there are only the tides. And when the tides rise highest, they are flooding communities up and down the East Coast. From Miami to New York, Norfolk to the Jersey Shore, it has simply become a fact of life. Tidal flooding on this island uh, happens uh, definitely once a month. During normal tidal flooding events, which occur with a full moon down here, at this end of the block here, you could see the water up to my knees if we had an east wind, you know, and that would just be a normal occurrence. Any cars that are here during the, during the event uh, will get flooded, destroyed. The children can't get, get off the block in time for school. The tides are reaching higher, and tidal flooding is expanding because sea levels are rising. And sea levels are rising faster as global warming heats up the planet. Hotter temperatures are melting glaciers and ice sheets into the sea, even while global warming is heating up the ocean itself. Water, when heated, expands. And sea level has got nowhere to go but up. So most of the sea level rise we're, we're seeing the last uh, 50 years, which is eight and nine inches in this area, is due to the ocean getting warmer and getting bigger. We're seeing significant impacts of sea level rise already here in South Florida. And that's not something that was happening 50 years ago. And so we know that, that a new flooding is connected to sea level rise. And we anticipate with the projected flooding, we're gonna have more days of flooding than we're gonna have uh, days where we don't have flooding. Over the next 30 years, sea level could increase a foot or more in many East Coast locations. With only a moderate increase in sea level, Dozens of communities could flood at least 24 times a year, or an average of twice each month. A growing number of locations could flood 100 times or more every year, some more than 200 times, including portions of Washington, D.C., Atlantic City, and Miami. And when storms occur, the higher tides will only magnify the risk of severe coastal flooding events. All along the East Coast, communities may be at risk as the encroaching tides render areas effectively useless. I think that regardless of your, your total position on this, uh, that there is you know, no way to avoid the fact that we are seeing more significant events in terms of uh, flooding, uh, tidal issues. We have to get together, everybody on the same page, and take measures that are doable measures. Globally, we have to restrict emissions, which we're all trying to do, but not very successfully. Uh, we've got to cut down the carbon in the atmosphere because that's the prime cause. People often think about climate change impacts, especially sea level rise. It's something that's going to be in the distant future. But all the current research shows that it's something that's going to be well within our lifetime and certainly in the lifetime of our children. And so um, there is no future date where you can take action. You have to take action now.